In this video, I will be talking about product information management. I will be using our demo shop to demonstrate how products are built and the different things you can do with product information. The first and essential step is to establish your product data, allowing you to maintain and build a sophisticated catalogue representative of your commercial offering. This information is imported and built in our backend administration interface. Product information is essential for defining shop behaviour, such as filtering and optimising search using product attributes. We also use product information to accurately make calculations, such as calculating delivery costs based on a product's weight. Let's take for example a Sony camera. This camera has two versions with different flash memory, 16GB and 32GB. To build this product we use two layers. The first is the abstract layer that denotes a specific product model, giving it an abstract presence with a price but no stock. Then for each specific version of the product, we create a concrete product. To this we add a stock quantity and optionally an individual price, so we can essentially charge a bit more for the item with a higher flash memory. All product information is fully localized and each element is separated to support different locales and measurement methods. This allows you to define if an item is 1 meter long or 3.28 feet for the US. In the back end, the attributes page holds a list of attributes that you can assign to your products. We distinguish between regular attributes that you can use to enrich product data and super attributes. When a super attribute is added to an abstract product, a separate concrete product is automatically created, thus allowing you to display multiple variants of the concrete product in the shop front end. These form our concrete products. In our example, flash memory is the camera's super attribute, and therefore we have two variants for this camera model, a variant for 16 GB and another for 32. This list of attributes is usually batch populated from an external resource, but you can manually edit and add new items if needed. Grouping products like this is an important part of how products are managed. It is what allows us to offer different concrete products under the context of a single abstract product. This allows customers to choose their purchase using specific criteria, in our case, memory size, while staying on the same store page. Additional grouping can be established taking several abstract products and grouping them together. This is especially useful in the fashion industry, where different coloured items are different abstract products, and shop owners need to group these items together to make them appear as if they are the same product. The, products group the product group's feature allows you to do exactly this, by grouping any abstract products together, allowing you to view all the products at once. We can see this in the catalogue with the Sony camera, that has separate catalogue items, each representing a different colour of the same camera model, but when you select one of the items, you see all color options in the product page. One last note about stock. We distinguish between stock and availability. In the back end, you can view current stock levels. Stock levels determine if a customer can buy a product or not. If the level is zero, the add to cart function is disabled. Once you have an established catalog, there are several ways to improve user experience and support marketing goals. When you want to add a service or additional offerings to the product, we use product options. Options can be gift wrapping, insurance, warranty, and anything else you may want to add that is not physically part of the product. They have their own price and will be added to the total if the option is selected. In the back end, we use product options to create and manage products from this page, we can create a product option, allowing us to add their price and assign them to a preset list of products. On the store side, product options are displayed in product pages as additional drop-downs. They will also appear in the cart calculation page and checkout summary. Next, we have product labels. These are decorations that we add to highlight products that are new, on sale, or have some kind of special offer. 
we provide three fully customizable out-of-the-box labels, standard, new and sale. In the back end, we manage labels in the product labels page. Here we can create new labels, prioritize them by reordering the dra using the drag and drop list, and define which products will display the label. To maximize value for customers and help them explore additional relevant products, we can build relationships to similar products, upgrades, or simply products that fit to a certain context for upsell or cross-sell. In the product data page, suggested items are displayed below the product data. In the back end, we use the product relations tab to select a product and assign related products to it. We use the rule generator to build a rule based on product attributes. However, the typical input for product relations comes from a recommendation engine. When you want to artificially group together several unrelated products to create a complementary set, such as a shirt with matching trousers and shoes, you can build a product set. In the store, you are presented with a set that has its own product page. Instead of one purchase option, you will see several, one for each of the items in the set. This way, a custo customer can choose which of the items in the set they want to add to the cart. We can also build a special catalog page to display all product sets. Product sets are created in the back end. Here you can create and edit product sets by selecting the items you want to include in the set. The reorder option allows you to reorder product sets so if the, an item is part of several sets, you can control which set will be listed first. Product sets do not need a price as each product in the set can be purchased separately and inherits the product's default price. Lastly, when you want to sell two or more concrete products together, we call this a bundle. This is a layer created for sales purposes to offer a set bought as a single unit, with or without a special price. In the store, bundles appear as one product with one purchase option and their own image. Here we can use the description to describe what the bundle contains. Bundles are created in the product page and are managed like any other concrete product with a dedicated price and tax set. The only real difference is that they only are only available when all the items belonging to the bundle are in stock. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our other videos in the series.